we will be stopping the war games. Say that again, Mr. President? Officials in South Korea and the United States seem blindsided Tuesday by President Donald Trump's announcement on the heels of his summit with Kim Jong-un that the U.S. would be suspending military exercises with South Korea. But we'll be saving a tremendous amount of money. Plus, I think it's very provocative. Trump's choice of the word provocative is especially baffling, appearing to mirror North Korea's own rhetoric on the exercises. A South Korean official told Reuters he was shocked and initially thought Trump had misspoken. The U.S. and South Korea have conducted regular military drills for decades, often drawing an inflamed response from Pyongyang. U.S. command in South Korea says it has received no guidance to cease the drills. Trump spoke with South Korean President Moon Jae-in on Tuesday, and afterward the White House made no mention of the drills. Trump's pledge to end the war games came after signing a broad agreement to denuclearize North Korea that's drawn flack for lacking specifics. Experts worry the drills are a lot to give up in exchange for no concrete concessions from Pyongyang. Later Tuesday, the Pentagon said Defense Secretary James Mattis was consulted by Trump before he made the announcement. Chairman Kim has told me that North Korea is already destroying a major missile engine testing site. That's not in your signed document. We agreed to that after the agreement was signed. That's a big thing for the missiles that they were testing. The site is going to be destroyed very soon. I do. I do. I can only say that I know him for really well. It's been very rhetorical, as you know. I think without the rhetoric, it wouldn't have happened. I think without other things going along, I think uh, the establishment of a new team was very important. They have a great team, but I do. I think he wants to get it done. I really feel that very strongly. It does take a long time to, you know, pull off complete denuclearization. It takes a long time. Scientifically, uh, you have to wait certain periods of time and a lot of things happen. But despite that, once you start the process, it means it's pretty much over. You can't use them. That's the good news. And that's going to start very, very soon. I believe that's going to start very soon. Uh, we will do it as fast as it can mechanically and physically be done. Uh, the sanctions will come off when we are sure that the nukes are no longer a factor.